Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we've been sent this puzzle uh, by Andrew Rogers, who found it on the Reddit Sudoku thread. So if you've seen that thread and been following it, you may well have seen this before. But um, he says it's quite an interesting solve, and this puzzle has a special feature. It's a multiples of seven puzzle, so that every time there's a dot in the puzzle and all possible dots are given, that dot marks the center of a two-digit multiple of seven. So this dot, for instance, could have one four, making 14 above and below it, always in order, or two one for 21. So I'm going to have a go at this now. Um, obviously, I'm going to have put the puzzle up um, in the description so you can have a go at it before you watch my solve and see how you do. And I'm just going to have a crack at it. Now, I think it really helps with this puzzle to have a list of the multiples of seven available. And as you can see from the list, um, there are only 11 possibilities. Now, that sounds like quite a wide field, but for instance, there's only one number beginning with one, three, five, six, or eight. There are only one um, double digit number there ending in, for instance, five, two, nine, six, or three. And the ones that end in four must begin with one or eight. The ones that end in one or eight must begin with two or nine and vice versa. So there are some regularly recurring patterns that may be useful. You'll see I've left out 70 and 77 from my list of two digit multiples of seven. That's because 70 features a zero, which can't be in a Sudoku grid, and 77 is not possible because these go either across or down and that would create two sevens in a row or column. So they're impossible, so I've left them out and we've got the other 11 possibilities. It's very important to remember to go up as far as 84, 91, and 98. Don't just stop at 70, because those numbers could well come into it and make it interesting. So, looking at the grid, um, up here we've got a six, and we can see that 63 is the only possibility. So, that must be what makes up that dot. Um, again, with the three here, we get to start 35 and this makes a bit of a chain and I think we can fill in the rest of it. 5 beginning has to be 56, 6 beginning has to be 63 again. Now with the 2 here, not so straightforward, it must begin, oh no, it must begin with a 4, that's good, um, and then therefore it has to begin with a 4 there. What comes after a 2 is either a 1 or an 8. We've obviously got a 1 in the same box, so that has to be an 8. What comes before a 4 has to be a 1 or an 8, so it has to be a 1. So we'll put that in there. Then the 8 has to begin a 4. We're getting a really good start here. Now this has to be a 2 or a 9, and they're always followed by 1 or 8. So those are the possibilities for those cells. So now we've covered every area that connects to dots and givens. So now we're going to have to look somewhere else for something to do. Now, it's worth noting that nowhere in our list, because we don't use 70 or 77, does a 7 appear. So anywhere there is a 7 in the grid, it can't have a dot, because remember, all dots are shown. So 7 in the central box must be in one of those two cells. Um, what about, ah, this cell begins two different numbers. Um, so it has to either be two, four, or nine. Can't be four because we've got one in the same column. So it has to be two or nine. And both two and nine have to have endings in one and eight. They have to be either 21, 91, 28, or 98. So those two cells have to be the 1 and 8 there. And 1 and 8 always ends cells which begin with 2 or 9, so that must be a 9. There's already a 2 in the column. Now this is interesting. We can look at this pair of digits here, which makes a multiple of 7 but doesn't involve 4 or 2. So it can only be... Um, Three, five, five, six, 
both of those are ruled out by the positions of three and five up there. Six, three, but it can't be that, or that six, three would need a dot. So it must be, yeah, I think this is right, it must be 91 or 98. And that means we can fix that as a two. 3, 5, 9, 2, 1, 8. This has to be 4 or 7. This 4, 6 or 7, like that. Now, this can't be a 7, obviously, because we've got a 7 in the box and 7 can't connect. So that's a 4. Excellent. So we've got a 6, 7 pair up there as well. And this 4 must be continued by a 2 or a 9, which must be continued by a 1 or an 8. And the 2 or a 9 must follow another 4. Yes, that is correct. So, and 4 is always preceded by a 1 or an 8. So we have another 1-8 pairing in this box. Um, that 7 must go with a 2 or a 9 in one of those two cells. Can't tell which one yet. But we've now got 1-8 in this column resolve. In fact, we've got all the 1-8s placed in the central boxes in this central column. Um, the 1-8 here must end in a 4, mustn't it? And that's interesting. That means this run of 3 must involve the 4. So it could either be, um, it could be at the end or beginning of it. 4 2 or 9, 1 or 8. Now the 7 up here has to be here because it can't be in a cell connected with a dot. Ah, oh, that fixes that 6 and that 7. Um, 6 or 7, 1, 8. Hmm, we know that can't be 35, 3, 5. What is this pair going to be? Can't be 1, 4, because that would make 14 coming down here. 2, 1. Yeah, that is just possible, as therefore is 2, 8. 3, 5 isn't possible. Anything beginning with 4 isn't possible. 5, 6 and 6, 3 aren't possible. 8, 4 isn't possible, because that would be 8, 4 down there. So it must begin with a 2 or a 9 and end with a 1 or an 8 again. Um, there we go. And this one must begin with a 2 or a 9, therefore, as well. Now, up here, we've got a 4, a 2 or a 9, and a 1 or an 8. But I don't really know what configuration they go in. Oh, yes, I do, because look, 2, 9, 1, and 8 are all used up in these four cells in row 2. So that must end in the 4. This must be 1 or 8 before it, and 2 or 9 before that. Okay, so we have three and five to place up here. Seven, three, five, two, nine. Now I'm beginning to wonder if we're going to have to use the fact there are no dots over here to put together what else remains. We've got three, seven, and five. So we can never have 35, but we could have 53. Hmm. And here we've got a 2 and a 1 or an 8. So it can't be 2 then 1 or an 8. It must be the other way around. Um, hmm. So this is 3, 5, 7. I don't know in what order except I know there's no 35. That must be the 4. Um, mm, but I don't know about the rest, so 6 appears somewhere there, and either 1 or 8. What else? Oh, look, 1 here and 1 here, so that must be the 1, so we can get rid of the 1 possibility out of there. Um, 4, 6, 8, that makes this one the 1, 8, 1, Eight. Oh look, this is leading us to be able to sort out all our 1-8 possibilities so far. Excellent. 4-1. So, 
So 6 is either here or here in the bottom cell, in the bottom box rather. No, just don't know what that is. Now, how about this group of three down here, not involving an eight? Hmm. No, it's not obvious to me how to resolve that. Eight, in fact, is in one of those two cells. Four. Look at the four here, four here, four here, four here. That must be a four. So that's followed by a two or nine. It's preceded again by a 1 or 8. Must be a 1 this time because of the 8s in the same row and column. Um, this one now is a 6 or 7. Just from the other numbers it's looking at in its row and column. Well, we've got a pair here that doesn't involve 1, 8, 4 or 2. So it must be 35, impossible because of that 5, 63, impossible because of that 63, so it must be 56. And now that makes that one a 7, 7 goes there, we've got 9 and 3 here, that's a 2. This is 8 and 5 in some order. This is six or three now, as is this. Five, eight, hmm, seven, three, and six. Okay, let's go up here. This is two or nine. It's the only thing left in the column. That's filled in both twos and both two and nine in this row. How about down here? We've got another dot, possibly our last one. One, four, seven, three, and two are all gone. So this is um fifty-six. Yeah, I think it must. Oh no, it could be ninety-eight, couldn't it? It can't be fifty-six because of that six. So I think it's ninety-eight. Right, which resolves that five-eight. That gives six here. So eight, four, three, there's a one here. Seven, two, and five to fill in. Oh, this one's now two, and that's nine. Oh, look, we can now do all our two and nine. Well, quite a lot of our two and nine disambiguating. These are seven and five, just as these are seven and two. Ah, but look, we can't have 42, so that resolves that that's a 7, that's a 2. Got 2 and 9 here, and a useful 2 above them. 9 must be here. 2, 9, 4, 1, 6 in one of these. Don't know which one. Hmm, ah, look, 3 and 5 have been resolved by the 5 below. So these are 3 and 6 in some order. That puts this as the 7. Um, 7, 1, 4, 2. We've got to have a 5 in here somewhere. Along with a 3 and a 6. And we mustn't have 35, 56, or 63. Now this can't be a 5 because it would either... No, no, it could be, because then it would be 653. Ooh, okay. Maybe they're not instantly resolvable. Can't have 356 in that order, so they must be backwards. Right. Um, this has to be 5 or 6. And this 5, 6 or 7. Now, how are we going to make any more progress here? Six, eight. Oh, those two or nine have been resolved now. Okay. Five, oh, 56 would be, would require a dot. So that must be seven, five in that order. So now we know where six and seven go. Now this is 
three, eight, five here, three or five at the beginning. This can't be a three because that would make this a five, which would be impossible because that would make it a 35. Um, but this could be any, I think I'm missing some constraint here. Ah, uh, this can't be 28 coming down to 8, so that is the 5, right, so that resolves that set, and I think that's going to be very useful. This has to be 3, and that's 5, 3, 7 now. 8 and 6 are resolved, and I think we're finishing off now. That's a very neat puzzle. I mean, it really is nicely put together. A decent start to get going, um, and... Then some tricky bits in the middle. Now, maybe I was missing some fairly straightforward parts of the middle of the solve, but that's my effort at it. Um, do let us know how you did with the puzzle. Um, and indeed, if you've seen it before on Reddit, that would be quite interesting too. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.